Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all oh, set of revenue bank on you. After this video, you will definitely be notified. So let's talk about uh, Daniel Dynamite Dubois and uh, we'll also address the Affair Jagba um, ring return this upcoming weekend. Listen, this is going to be interesting. Daniel Dynamite Dubois versus Orson Usyk is a fight that I can never miss, okay? I'm definitely going to cover it for sure. React to it with the guys and stuff like that. Dubois is set to fight Blazna Usyk in Poland this upcoming weekend in Stadium Roklaw. In Roklaw. I don't know how you pronounce it in, 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 um, in Polish, but yeah, Roklaw. So, and Usyk is the current unified every world champion. The guy is literally, of course, it's beatable, but boxing wise he's a boxing maestro so basically you would need to do more to beat music but can danny dubois literally can he pull off an upset right here it would be very um if i must say very difficult in my opinion to pull off an upset but it can be done okay can be done because if you look at Usyk's, um, we will get Daniel Dubois. Usyk's style of fighting, the way he fights, and everything like that. He he's very, I don't say predictable because he's a pure boxing maestro, a pure boxing maestro. However, looking at their face off, you can tell Dubois wasn't really phased. Of course looking at his eyes you see he's ready and everything like that the boy has a lot of power he has lots of power but he's not a better boxer than joshua okay and he has basically listen there's still the boy is still rebuilding himself back up so i think this vibe for me is too early okay it's too early this is frank warren trying to like basically pull the boy in a fire where you know He's got nothing to lose, okay? Basically, he's got nothing to lose. If he loses, yeah, it was meant to happen. But if he wins, then he becomes a star overnight. Basically, become talked about and stuff like that. His new his trainer, the Donobar's new trainer, uh, Charles, is a very good trainer. I think he's the former trainer of um, Derek Del Boy Chisora, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken. So, he's got a good corner and he's got he's got the tools to beat Usyk okay but I don't know if Dubois is some kind of guy that would try to handle Usyk because to beat Usyk you cannot outboss Usyk fast okay you cannot outboss Usyk he's too smart he's too listen this guy that guy has been fighting big guys for a long time he knows how to listen Usyk knows that against those big guys he cannot go Man, 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 man for man with them, it can't. They don't have the power to do, to really hurt them like that. But what it does have is his boxing uh, IQ. The guy is, like I said, he is a boxing maestro. So to beat Usyk, you've got to do something he's never seen, experience. You got to put a heat on them, like Joshua did. I was expecting Joshua to do that when Joshua did that. In their second fight, he did have a, a, a lot of sources. He did, and Usyk survived, um, survived it, and then came back with his own. The problem was is Joshua is a little bit cautious, you know, to was a little bit cautious, to, like to get hit and stuff like that to get hurt, because the Andrews Junior, you know, the round seven in that original fight, still plays. And it's, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a replay. You know, it's like it's still something that is in still is in, the, in the, it's still in, in his head. So it will take a long time for Joshua to get past that. For Dubois, he got stopped by Joe, the juggernaut Joyce. We all know Joyce has a stiff, 
Steve Jab that stopped the war. George Joyce might not be the the fastest, but he punches very hard. Okay, his hands are like bricks. And the boy in that fight quit. I like. I'm not a big fan of the boy because of what he said about Jojo's mom. I think that was really disrespectful in a way. But still, something is just making me feel like okay. I hope he wins in this fight. But on the other hand, Usyk is not bad for boxing, so I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be supported because if Dubois wins, Frank Warren will be one hell of a, a pirate. He will talk a lot. He will say so many things. He will throw throw jabs at Joshua. He will literally rubbish Usyk and stuff like that. So it's just like Dubois is with the wrong team, in my opinion. But just to see. Just, just to see what happens, you know, since Fury doesn't want to fight Usyk, let's just see if Dubois puts up a good fight. Do you guys think Dubois can uh, um, can upset uh, Usyk in this fight? Give your thoughts below, of course, and don't forget to like, uh, subscribe to the channel as well. Now we're gonna talk about FAR Jackboy. So across the pond. There is another fight that will take place. Um, a Jack Bob versus Zhang Kozobuski. Kozobuski is undefeated. He defeated our brother, the Godzilla. A Jack Bob has a very tough guy um, in uh, Zhang Kozobuski. Zhang Kozobuski is not a joke. But I've been seeing recent clips of Jack Bob. He is definitely dedicated, uh, the, now known as the Silent Roller. I'm going to be watching. Probably be I'm gonna be awake all night to watch that fight. I don't know, man. It's gonna be interesting. I've got other things to do because I'll be traveling, but still, I would definitely try to stay awake for this fight and watch Ajaba do damages to Zan Kozobuski. It will be an interesting, interesting uh, event, interesting fight. I don't know what to expect from Zan Kozobuski because where he comes from, that area these guys are strong people they are very they, they are resilient they are very um their bones are extra strong but ajakba being a monster himself and working his way back up i've been impressed by ajakba's um um new development um i've been seeing some things that he's, he does and like ajakba now moves his head better than he did before Okay, when he was rerunning shields, he moves his head better. Um, his footwork is way better. Of course, he, of course, his T telegraphs his right hand. You can still see it, but at least you can see lots of improvement on Jabba. So this weekend, Usyk versus Dubois, and Jabba versus Zankuzubuski in two different locations, but of course. Ajaba fights, I think, early in the month, Sunday morning or so. And Zanko Zabuski uh, uh, and um, Usyk fights Saturday evening or so. So it's going to be interesting. I can't wait for this fight. I can't wait. And I hope Ajaba put up um, um, a great performance. After this, now he can move. Listen, Zanko Zabuski is, of course, um, a deadly fight for Ajaba. But I don't believe Ajaba can get it. He can get this this job done right here. Be interesting. So what do you guys make of this fight? These two fights. Which one would you be awake for? I think the one of Ajaba and uh Zakos Buski. A lot of Nigerians will be awake for that. And uh, yeah, we'll be back. You know, we are gradually coming back step by step. And um can't wait to like go live again with you guys and uh yeah, be right back. God bless you for always supporting the channel. For those of you guys who've been uh, faithful, who've been loyal, I really appreciate you all. And um, God bless you all. Catch you on the next one, guys. Cheers. Somebody tell me how we can know. I will find a girl